This is the five month update for all gigasites. Welcome to my Tesla weekend. I recognize that there are different milestones for when things really kick off, such as signing the contract, beginning grading, the first foundations, or the first vertical columns. Believe me, I get that. If you want to see the first full four months for all sites, check the link in the corner or the description below as those will show a more complete picture. But this is about what each site looks like five months after groundbreaking. I also know that there are considerations for each property and timeline. Shanghai had little need for site remediation. The phase one structure was mostly one story tall and Berlin had bats and COVID to deal with while Texas had massive hills and trenches to level. None of that is lost. This isn't a definitive scorecard. It's just a snapshot. So pretty please with a cherry on top, only shoot the messenger. If you can politely suggest ways I can better compare the sites in the future. So let's get started. Giga Shanghai was going pretty nutso by the five month mark. They weren't merely well into the process, but had all site and foundation work done and had several crews erecting steel, and completing roof work. It appeared to be a structure nearing completion, and it was, though it was significantly smaller than Berlin or Texas, and mostly on a single floor. All steel construction surely moved this forward a bit, as concrete pillars and columns can take more time, but this is to take nothing away from their amazing work to get it completed and ready for production. So what am I missing or misunderstanding? Tell me in the comments what I got wrong or overlooked because without you guys, I mean, I mean, I mean, I mean, I mean, I'm just me. Giga Berlin had a lot more frames, walls, and really everything done. They were on par with Shanghai, though at twice the height and substantially ahead of Texas, though with a smaller footprint. Uh, you know, Shanghai was small, Berlin was much bigger, and Texas is much bigger still. Bear in mind that Giga Berlin had the dual shutdowns of the hibernating bats and COVID to contend with. They did have the advantage of a dedicated rail stub direct to the property on which to deliver their massive concrete components, but that required significant upstream coordination to get them there. If those guys missed a deadline, they couldn't just send another truck. The train had literally left the station, so they had to get it all done right and done right the first time. At Giga Texas, we can see the entire footprint is well laid out, and it is more than twice the size of Giga Shanghai and about 30% larger than Giga Berlin. A significant percentage of footings have been placed, about half, and the vertical structure is pretty well underway. And an extremely quick shout out to my Patreons, and you can get bonus insights there, even if you don't subscribe at patreon.com slash glossy news. There are areas with high concrete columns, as well as others where simpler steel construction is being completed in one, two, and three story configurations. There's a lot of work here that you may not see out of frame, like the grading for the switchyard to the east of the power lines, but the progress is moving quickly, and it's clear that there are a substantial number of workers on site daily advancing every aspect of the site. So my question for you is, which site will be finished nearest to its anniversary? And if there's enough interest, next month I'll consider doing months from vertical pillar or months from something else. I don't know. I don't know. Let me know what you guys want to see and I can work on it. So stay tuned, stay juicy, and I'll see you clever robots on the flippity flop.